ஹலோ தேட் வெல்கம் டு ரிமேட் யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ரிமேட்டிவ் ஆன் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் பி லான்ச்சிங் அண்ட் AWS Ubuntu machine that is basically a virtual machine and on top of this I would be setting up a rancher so what exactly rancher is that it's a open source multi cluster orchestration platform that will help in deployment on bare metal whether it is on private cloud or public cloud or even on vSphere to secure them using global security policies so this is one of the definition you will find but uh, for me why I use rancher is that out of me accessing all of this dashboard and creating and managing my kubernetes service i can simply use rancher as a dashboard and manage my kubernetes cluster from that particular single cluster so who don't want an easiest way of an interface where they can manage their kubernetes service right so basically i can have one single platform to manage the kubernetes service that will be running on multiple different public cloud provider so as simple as that so let's get started So I have selected my security group disk size and I will be launching my machine. So now my machine has been created. I will do the SSH login as Ubuntu for the Ubuntu machine. So now apt get update. The very first thing to do on the Ubuntu machine. So now git clone https and here we go. So this is the link that basically you had to clone once you clone you get the quick start as one of the directory and once i go inside that you can see that there is something called as rancher so i will go inside the rancher and i would be going inside aws you can see there are multiple uh, public cloud provider i have selected aws So on AWS I already get the terraform script that I have to run to set up rancher. So basically now I will rename terraform.tfvars.example to terraform.tfvars and to do this I will use the mv command that is move command. So basically I'll go inside that file and this file contains something for us to fill. So what something is that here you have to give the access key and secret access key of the AWS account. uh basically has the administrator access um here i will be setting up the server admin password so once you have given the password i don't think you have to change anything else just save and exit i will just install the gnup now i will install this gnup g software properties so this is the command So next I will run this curl command. Okay, apt key is deprecated. So what I'm going to do is apt install curl. It says same apt is deprecated manage keyring files. I have to run this command. sudo apt repository dab and then there would be a link for you to give it press on enter see the deprecated section and apt key so okay apt get installed terraform so everything has been resolved and now the terraform has been installed so to confirm that let me just give it as terraform So Terraform has been set up on this machine in AWS directory. So now I'll do Terraform in it, and now it's running that file. It will set up the rancher on this Ubuntu machine. Initialization has been successfully completed. So the next command. So the next command is terraform hyphen install hyphen auto complete. I can run this command terraform apply auto approve. Let's see how the deployment goes. Basically, this is going to take a lot of time for the deployment. uh in a single command i can just run the terraform file that has been there 
it's all creating but there's an error so updating admin password so the password is basically the bad response status that says 422 let's do one thing let's just go back to the terraform.tf wars file and here it says the password is not that good so let's just change the rancher server admin password to something complicated that you can't even remember just had to copy paste the next time and this time terraform apply auto approve and again the deployment has initiated and you can see it's running all fine this time so the apply has been completed there are resources that is basically the four resources has been created once you set up the rancher on ubuntu you get this url i'll just click on advance click on the link to proceed further so here i have the rancher dashboard um basically we know that admin is a an username the password is something that i retyped again in the file so that password i had to enter it here so this is the rancher dashboard so you can explore this dashboard and understand each of the option what it does for me to create an eks service i will just go to this left hand side navigation click on cluster management so just and here i will go to cloud credentials this is where you have to give the credential of the public cloud provider basically wherever you would be creating your managed Kubernetes cluster. So right now I would be doing it on Amazon. So here I will give the name as Remeter. Access key and secret access key is the one that would be basically used to deploy EK service on my AWS account. I would be using US East one and then I have created the cloud credential for the Amazon web server account. Now I will go back to cluster. Here I will click on create. There are multiple managed cluster that you can set up and you can also provision the Nord group for those cluster. So right now I will be using Amazon EKS. So you're having this dashboard, you can simply manage your multiple managed Kubernetes service that is running on the different public cloud provider accounts. So just name something. The Kubernetes version is 1.22. Now, I don't think I had to do much changes. I'll just go with the default. Public access for me, it's required. So here I can also select the node details and the node detail would be T3 instance. So I can just provision that EKS cluster from here and the name I would be giving it as nodes and then you can see there is no cluster yet so I'll just refresh it so once after the hard refresh I can see that the Kubernetes remote cluster has been provisioning so once the provisioning completes, so it's going to take a lot of time. So once that gets completed, then I can log into AWS dashboard and check if the Kubernetes cluster actually launch from the Rancher dashboard. So basically the provision going to take a lot of time, not just because you're doing it from the Rancher, even if you try to do it from the EK service itself, it's still going to take the same amount of time. So now I'm here, I will go to that particular region that I've selected, that is Oregon. So I'll just go to this US West region and I can see that the cluster has been deployed. That is Kubernetes Dramatic Cluster. So now it is all active. So now I'll just click on compute. I need to add the compute. So once I do that, it will also reflect in the account itself. So this is basically how one can use Rancher uh, provision and deprovision Kubernetes service on multiple public cloud provider. I think this video was very straightforward to what you were looking for. 
not just that you can actually connect to that particular cluster and work on top of that you can run any of the commands that would take effect in the kubernetes cluster like kubectl get nodes and you can see the nodes is actually in a status of ready and if you come here you can see there is a node group as simple as that and if there is anything else that you would like to know or want me to share on my youtube channel comment down below and please do like subscribe to my channel sanara